Hey guys, it's me, 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. But this time, it's for my Leos. What's going on? Alright, let me shuffle these cards. I start off all my readings with angel numbers. If you want a personal reading with me, you can get look in the description box below. There is where you'll find all of my contact information for you to book a personal reading with me. It is smart for you to follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of daily reads and get a lot of discounts there. And my Instagram link is in the description box below as well as my fashion company. Okay, so that's me on the icon. So if you like what my outfit looks like, go ahead and go on my website. Okay, also follow me on Instagram, get my likes up and see, look, that's what you need to do. Follow the right path. Go on my Instagram and like up all my shit. Thank you. Okay. Also check out, ooh, 1212. Y'all could be seeing 777 and 1212 in the pre-show. Okay, wait, who are y'all? My Leos. Okay, all right, Leos, Leos. I think y'all are about justice or something. I can't remember. Okay, a car has came out now, Leo, right? Whew, before your reading even started, okay? So y'all do what you do without further ado. Here we go, all right? So be optimistic, okay? You could be seeing a lot of fives. Great changes are coming up for you. They could be bad. They could be good. You could perceive them to be bad when they're really for your highest good. Either way it go be optimistic about it because a major shift is about to come into your life and you're about to experience a lot of different expectations perceptions everything just be open-minded to all of these endeavors of all of these tunnels okay so you could be seeing five five everywhere like five 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 on the clock five 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 in the collar you get your change back it's five dollars and 55 cents you know what i'm saying whatever it is the fives are coming okay but be optimistic about this change okay Ooh, that shit is upside down. Okay, damn. So it looked like you might have a paradigm shift, okay? So get ready, Leo. All right, you guys um, are going to be questioning some deep beliefs that you may have about yourself, others, even your religion. So be careful, okay? It says, I... I see things for this perspective, right? But the perspective is in reverse, okay? So you could have been seeing things in a very warped perspective, okay? You need to be very inquisitive and you need to allow things to uncover important truths to you. Now, it looks like you're being ignorant as fuck and you're ignoring the shit out of that. You got to be careful with that shit, okay? You got changes crowning your read. So even for some of you guys, Leo, the, the religious beliefs that you had are being challenged right now. And some of you guys are easily walking through this portal seeing what's the truth from what's not the truth. And that's a beautiful thing, all right? Some of you Leos are resisting this change and you need to check yourself with that, okay? But others of you guys are doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, okay. So some of you guys, yay, okay, go ahead on Leo. All right, so some of you guys are being independent. You're realizing that, you know, going with the crowd or understanding things the way that other people do is just not for you anymore, okay? You're starting to be I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-C. Do you know what that means? Go ahead, Leo, okay? Be that independent, fierce person that I know you to be, okay? Now, because of this, it's because your belief system has been challenged, all right? And now you're starting to veer off on your own path and have your own individual perspectives, okay? Now, be very tactful with this, okay? Take your time, okay? Because even though you're like this and you're going through the spiritual awakening, don't be trying to, you know, Jesus Christ, everybody, be like, I know the way and stuff. You do not know the way, okay? You just started. So just take your time, be independent, stand on your own two feet, and use your own knowledge to gain clarity on what makes sense for you, okay? Because everybody's having their own individual walk, all right? So let's see what somebody want to confess. These are my confessions. What somebody got something to say? All right, let me see. All right, so let's see what confessions are coming out for you, all right? You are going through a spiritual um, awakening. Shit is changing, all right? So I felt like I had to impress you. I feel like I had to impress you. You you were out of my league. Damn. Okay, so look. Damn. Okay, so crying in your read, okay, is that somebody felt like you was the bag, nigga. The whole motherfucking bag, Leo, in your own divine right, okay? And they felt like, you know, they had to bounce out their motherfucking Wells Fargo card to just, you know what I mean, holla at your ass, you know, to impress you. And honestly, you know, in the beginning it was okay, but then after a while it got a little shaky, bro, because I don't have enough, okay? So this person didn't have enough. And they felt like they had to present a facade to you, okay, that they couldn't really keep up, okay? Over time, 
I learned showing emotions is being a man, okay? So this person couldn't show you that their money was fucked up, bitch or female. They was like, nah, I had to stay strong. You know, even though my bank account was bouncing out and stuff, I had to just act like I had it all together, okay? This person was raised in a household that a man shouldn't show that they can't afford something or a woman can't afford their shortcomings or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It happens, okay? This don't have to be a man. It could be a woman. But, you know, that's how I talk because that's, that's who I be fucking with, you know? know what I mean so over time they had to learn that showing their emotions was something that was a manly thing to do or a womanly thing to do you know sometimes people have to hide their emotions me too you know my mom is really like that so whew, all right after all I've done would you accept my hand in marriage okay so looky here nigga okay so look Leo somebody want to put a ring on that motherfucker if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. So they like, look, after I dragged your ass, you know what I mean? Lied about things. Now, I don't really feel like this person cheated on you. I just feel like this person don't really know how to communicate when it comes to finances, okay? And this person can't tell you when they're drowning, all right? And look, 555 five, five is literally on the clock. Boom, 555. Five, five. Connie read, okay? So this person is going through a shift of paradigm. They're starting to understand things differently okay and they're realizing like i should have been open with little shawty okay i, I should have been more understanding more giving okay with my emotions okay and letting this person know what's going on with my finances all right so let's see Woo, because this person want to be with you okay falling on will you accept my hand in marriage was true love this is an emotional physical unconditional love okay so look leo i think this is not you're not dealing with cheating you're not dealing with anything like that. All you were really dealing with is someone who can't be honest about when their money is fucked up. And a lot of men have this problem, okay? So if y'all can solve this, spirit is saying this is true love, okay? Is there any other? Damn, okay? So this person gonna have a tower moment. Everything gonna just come out. Like all their bills gonna come out. It's just gonna be like, what the fuck? Why did you let this fester to this magnitude? You and this person could be married and they could have just been saving face here all right but you and this person had a past life together all right and this person is working very hard to you know make ends meet but to be honest with you this person need to put away the computer and they need to work less even though their money is fucked up they need to just regroup and try to see what is in their life that they really want to have okay now all of this is happening because it's a spiritual lesson okay you could be the intuitive one or you could be the person that's very spiritual okay and you could be obsessed with just understanding not like like not, not like a bad obsession you know what i'm saying but a good obsession with just making sure that you can decode what this really is and how this is a spiritual lesson and not like this nigga ain't shit because he don't got no money you know something ignorant you know what i mean leo you're not like that you're gonna and if you are this reading should help you that this is a spiritual lesson that this person had to learn from their family okay this person could not allow themselves to be a man and show emotions that they don't have it all together this person also is very overworked and burnt out that's why this person is going to have a tower moment with their finances now after this vacation their finances is going to go in the, in the upright okay all right because remember outside coming out was that their finances was fucked up so in the near future it's going to be back into order this card came out in reverse and it says financial challenges are affecting your connection but it's in reverse those financial challenges will be lifted after this person sees the lesson okay now this situation involves a marriage or it's moving towards a sacred union so this is the second time this person want to marry you let's keep that clear leo and on top of that this relationship is moving towards a sacred union union okay so leo somebody want to marry you okay let's get married okay invite me to the goddamn wedding real talk okay because after all is done would you accept my hand in marriage okay and then the marriage card come out synchronicities are not a coincidence okay because this person feel like they are a soulmate okay now for some of you guys this person could be somebody in the past because they got new love here now some of you guys are going to have a choice between an old lover and a new lover okay leo and others of you you're already in this bullshit with this person and this person is going to come back and marry you to be the thing that seals the deal to let you know that they want to do a recommitment a re-solid commitment okay and they feel like this is destined okay they feel like this is fate here and they have a lot of regret here but regret came out in reverse okay so they're moving past the regret very fast because they feel like this is a, a destined situation and they're trying to trust themselves all right now with spirituality vulnerability 
can take a leap of faith, okay? You are this spiritual person, okay? Um, Leo, and you may even have a lot of regret because a lot of things are changing, okay? And you may feel like it was fate for you to trust yourself because even though this person may have done you wrong or just didn't handle this situation in the best of their ability, you had a spiritual awakening in that meantime and you went through a, a spiritual transformation here okay and you are very vulnerable you learn how to tell the truth you learn how to better yourself leo you learn how to just be an overall person because you look you took a leap of faith and you invested in your motherfucking self okay and that's how you flip a bitch okay you know what i mean you just come up and you just come up spiritually and mentally and that's very beautiful leo okay so we're gonna end your reading with a fucking card for my leos dang you seen that shit it just flipped around okay so you got two cards okay so the first one is total bullshit turn around now okay and the other one is admit it you got your ass kicked okay so look somebody got their ass kicked and somebody needs to turn around now okay so yeah that's what i got for you see you next time bye leo